Hey, it's John from Hatch Duo, and today we're going to talk about AI, specifically how you can use AI within your design process. Now, AI is more than just a buzzword. It's a significant driver in the workplace. And we wanted to share this video with you guys because AI is really changing how we work in our industry and just how we work in general. There's a saying that goes, AI might not take your job, but someone using AI will. As someone who has been in the field for over a decade, I can tell you that rings true. And here at Hatch Duo, we really try to stay on top of new and emerging technologies to see how we can integrate them into our workflow. In the case of AI, I can confidently say we're an AI enhanced firm. We use a number of AI tools such as Midjourney, Vizcom, Adobe Firefly, ChatGPT, and a dozen other AI tools. We've even created our own AI tool called Mood because we've identified an area in our workflow and we thought to ourselves, how can we make this faster and more efficient? Which is exactly what everyone should be doing with AI. You need to be using AI to make yourself faster, more efficient, and overall better so you can stay competitive as a designer. Now, in today's video, we're gonna answer the question of how do you actually use AI at work? What does that actually look like? And to that, we'll be walking you through how we used AI in our design process in a concept project of ours called Helios. Helios is a concept project of ours where we really wanted to see how far we can take AI in the design process. We'll be showing you each phase of the process, where we used AI, when to use AI, what artificial intelligence tools we use, and the answer to the question, why should you use AI in design? Design Brief. For this project, we wanted to help address one of the many struggles migrant refugees face when displaced from their homes, which is sustainable and renewable energy. Migrant refugees are uprooted from their homes and placed in unfamiliar places. This often leaves them secluded in terms of an energy source. If they have a device, they usually wouldn't have a sustainable way of powering it. This is the issue Helios tries to address providing migrant refugees with a sustainable source of renewable energy. Now, alongside that, another objective of this project is to really exemplify the utilization of AI tools within the design process. Research. For this project, research was kept relatively light, but we still conducted some initial research to better understand the context behind the design brief. For example, understanding our audience and what solutions already exist. For this phase of the project, we did utilize AI with that being ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a large language model generative AI platform developed by OpenAI. It's designed to understand and generate human-like text, making it useful for a wide range of natural language processing tasks, including answering questions, providing information, and engaging in conversations with users. The way we use ChatGPT here in the research phase was by having it provide us with information, examples, and just general guidance. We asked ChatGPT questions such as, what types of access to energy do refugees have? What kinds of portable generators do aid organizations provide? What kind of pain points exist for refugees and energy? And we even asked it to give us real life examples of refugees getting access to energy. So AI helped give us information quickly and helped push us in the right direction. I also wanted to note that you should not rely on AI to do all the research for you. In this case, we did our own manual research to cross-reference in conjunction with ChatGPT. But again, you can spend hours upon hours conducting manual research, or you can have a tool such as ChatGPT, which can help speed up that process significantly. Exploration. The exploration phase is where the ideation and conceptualizing is done. Here, we're exploring a wide range of possibilities and iterating on these ideas so that we can apply to the design of the final product. Traditionally, this is done with just pen and paper or a stylus of some kind sketching on a tablet. And in terms of ideas, you would sketch out numerous ideas manually, which could, for some people who are not as talented, be a long process. For this phase, we started off by using Midjourney. Midjourney is a generative AI program where you can write a prompt and it will generate images based on that prompt. So for this, we prompted it to generate as images of a portable power generator. We also did several iterations of this asking for it in different designs and or materials. Based off the images that we liked, we went back and manually sketched out the design. You can see us taking different aspects of what we liked, what we didn't like, and just really honing down on the design. With this sketch done, we ran it into another AI tool called Vizcom. Vizcom is an AI tool that quickly transforms sketches and drawings into visually captivating renderings. It also offers a variety of features including prompts, live render, 3D paint, and drawing tools. With the sketch put into Vizcom, it quickly generated 
a series of different forms and finishes on renderings. And like what we did before, we took what we liked based off of those renderings and sketched out a better idea of the design. So we're not purely relying on AI here. Refinement. In this phase of the project, refinement, we now have a good idea of what we want in terms of the design direction, and we're going to develop and refine the details. We went back into Midjourney to have it generate us images of a portable power generator, this time with specific design details, such as a solar panel on top of it. Based off of those images, we now began manually designing it in CAD, using it as a reference. With CAD screenshots in hand, we now went back into Viscom and ran it through Viscom. This gave us nicer looking renderings. And then as we did before, we went back into CAD and manually designed it based off of those Viscom images. We also used ChatGPT to help guide us on some of the specific details such as the outlets and the HUD display. As we've said earlier in the video, you can't fully rely on AI to do everything for you. AI is a great tool and stepping stone, but you still need to do some things manually. In terms of CAD, there's no shortcut to it. You have to put in the time and effort, and that's what's great about AI. It's that it helps save you time so that you can spend it where it matters the most. Looking at this project, we saved hours on research, hours on conceptualizing, and now we're spending all of that saved time into the detailed development in CAD. Product renderings. With the project nearing completion, all we need now is to make it look nice with some product renderings. We had Midjourney generate us a couple of environments for us to use as backgrounds. Here we have people outdoors and here a female model sitting down on a chair. We took these images and our renderings into Photoshop and composited them together. One neat AI tool that we use here is Adobe Firefly. Firefly is an Adobe application that offers new ways to ideate, create, and communicate while significantly improving creative workflows using generative AI. Firefly also extends into Adobe's other apps such as Photoshop. One of the features of Firefly in Photoshop is a generative AI fill tool that lets you fill, edit, and remove image elements with just a few clicks. Here we use Firefly to fill in this area of the image with a laptop. And here we used it to remove the chair. It's a very fun and useful tool where before it may have taken hours to composite and mask and crop out those images, and now it only takes a few minutes. And here's the completed project. Helios, a portable, sustainable, durable, and renewable power generator designed with AI. So with that, we hope you got a real good glimpse of how the design process can be enhanced when integrating AI into your workflow process. The evolution of these tools is only going to be growing day by day. And honestly, the more skilled you are as a designer is only going to enhance your power with AI. If you're not a great designer and you try to use AI, it's really not going to enhance your skills by much. If you know what you're doing though, it exponentially supercharges your design capability. So we hope that by watching this, you can improve your own workflow, stay up to date with the latest and greatest technologies so that you don't get left behind. And if you like this video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and until next time, let's hatch. Awesome.